Hey guys, what's up? It's me, MJ Fangirl, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a finally a my Michael Jackson CD collection. Um, I brought out all of my CDs, you guys, to show you guys today. I'm super excited to get into it. Today is also a collaboration with my good friend Georgia Duh, who's also going to be showing you her CD collection. It's going to be a lot of fun. You don't want to miss it. You are now watching MJ Fangirl TV. Alright you guys, so let's get all the way into this. I have all my CDs here. Honestly, it's so funny because it never really occurred to me that you guys would want to see this, but I was like, I like to show different parts of my collection, so I thought it would be cool to show these. I've already shown my vinyls and books and magazines, so today's the CD collection. Let's get into it, but before we get into it, I want to give you guys a word from my friend Georgia Duh. You might know her. She's very famous on TikTok. She actually also has a really exciting interview if you're into the Jackson second generation music. Um, she has a big interview coming up with TJ Jackson on her Instagram, so stay tuned. She's actually going to be doing her um, CD collection video as well, but here's a note from her. Hey guys, it's Georgia. Welcome to MJ Fangirl's CD collection. I am collaborating with her to show you my CD collection, but make sure you watch this video first and then hop over to my channel to see mine. I have quite a few CDs and I'm pretty sure that MJ Fangirl does too, but watch this video first and then hop over to my channel. Okay, so first of all, let's start with Off The Wall. Yes, this is my baby. All of my main Michael Jackson CDs are the special edition because that's when I started purchasing CDs um, on my own. I was probably 13 or 14 and I went to like The Wiz, which was a big music superstore back in the day. And I got this and like all of these special editions I'm about to show you right now. I got Off The Wall, Thriller, Dangerous, and I got that. And these CDs are actually special because they come with like different interviews at the end, everything except for Dangerous. They have interviews with like Rod Temperton, Quincy Jones, Vincent Price, who is the voice of the creepy voice on Thriller. They have a lot of really special uh, kind of behind the scenes looks at like what it went into creating the music. These came out in 2001. It was around the same time as Invincible. So it was a really exciting time in the fandom and yeah, these are the actually the only versions that I have, you guys, so. I recommend if you guys can find these on eBay to definitely get these. Um, they also come with like special tracks that were not on the originals. So like for Bad, it has Streetwalker, I Just Can't Stop Loving You, Fly Away. So definitely some good stuff on here. And then we go into the next album, which is History. So this is my History CD. It has gold discs on the inside. There is another version that was like the first pressing. The first pressings, I think they had some different language on there on that they don't care about us and maybe one other song and they had to reprint and then they came out with gold discs. But I believe in the beginning they were silver or bronze. Correct me if I'm wrong, I know that some of you guys are really, really up on your facts. So comment down below and let me know. So this is my Blood on the Dance Floor. This is another CD that I got later on, probably closer to like... 2004 or 5, um, these were songs that I didn't really know very much because they weren't playing on the radio at the time. I know Ghost was on the radio pretty heavy back in the day, um, like in the late 90s and stuff in New York City, but I wasn't really into it. I got into this later on. I love Blood on the Dance Floor because it's it's heavy, it's dark, um, and it's really reflective of what, what Michael was going through at the time. Alright, so let's get into Invincible. The copies of Invincible that I have are the white and the red copies. If you guys are familiar, you would already know that Invincible came out on several different colors. There were five of them. There was the silver, or the white one, which is this one here, the red, the orange, the blue, and the green. And I also picked up in Japan um, this orange copy. And it's just like the regular Invincible album, but I thought it was really cool. I was in Japan and they purchased, oh no, this is not from Japan. It is from Japan, but I realized it has an import sticker, so I think I purchased this at Virgin Megastore here in the US or in another country. But anyway, this is the Japanese and it has the Japanese obi on it, which is like the little paper that um, makes it into Japanese. Everything else, like when you open it, it'd be the same exact. As these two. Okay, so next up I have number ones and this CD actually also came out with a few different covers. 
Um, so obviously the one I got was this dangerous one. I don't think I could even choose. I think I just ended up getting whatever was given to me. Michael Jackson had a bunch of like these greatest hits type of CDs, but number one actually did really well. And it had, interestingly enough, it has like, you know, the typical hits, Don't Stop to Get Enough Rock With You, Billie Jean, Bad, Smooth Criminal, but it also had You Rock My World, Break of Dawn, One More Chance, which was the newest, which was a new one for this. It was a 2003 release. This came out in 2003. And then also uh, Ben Live from the Jackson's Live album, which I thought was really cool. So that's number ones. Comment down below. Let me know what color of Invincible you got. And also let me know what, co what cover of this you got. There were like four different ones, I think. So yeah, I'm curious to know what you guys all picked up back in the day. So the next album is the Michael Jackson Scream Collection. I am one of the people that actually really loved this album. I thought it was really cool, like concept-wise, to do an album of like kind of scary songs. To be honest, they're not all that scary. Um, but yeah, I think it was a cool concept. And I also really love the Blood on the Dance Floor Time Dangerous mashup, the White Panda mashup. So if you haven't heard this, you can go on like Spotify or Apple Music and you can hear it now. It's pretty cool. It's a good remix. Oh yeah, there's something inside. Shazam the code above for an immersive scream experience. If you Shazam this, something special will happen. Comment down below if you've seen it, because I have not. The only thing that I wish that this had that I think it was missing is they should have a version of Thriller that's like the video version so that people when they do the Thriller dance at parties, yes, because me and my friends always do it, they should have the version where there's no talking. Like you just end up doing it over like the Vincent Price talking, which is not as cool as just having like the instrumentals. So state if you're listening, definitely do an albums like of short films versions of singles. So like, I would love to hear like a remember the time with the dance break, the way you make me feel with the dance break, um, thriller with the dance break, in the closet with that breakdown, the one where it's like, break it down, do 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 do, and Michael's doing all that between like the doorway and all that. It's so dope. It's safe if you're listening. Please make that wish come true. Next up is Thriller 25, which a lot of people don't know about. I feel like um, my girlfriend Honey is always like, you need to make a video about Thriller 25. And I've never gotten to it, but I think I should because this is a really dope collection. It was a CD made in a celebration? Is that the word? Celebration of when the Thriller CD turned 25 years old, or the Thriller album turned 25 years old. And Michael actually did some remixes on here and he like re-sang some parts. So there's a really cool remix on here for uh, the Girl Is Mine with Will I Am, and I actually love it more than the original. I think all you guys, you can find all this stuff on eBay, but I am going to take some photos later and actually put up like a blog post with links to like everything that I have here, so yeah. Next up is this Ultimate Collection. I think I've showed you guys this before, but it's a five disc set, and yes, my disc is about to fall out because it always just comes out here, it's broken. It's a five disc set, it has different unreleased songs as well as songs that were hits. If you get this box set and you get the Dangerous Bucharest DVD with it, you, should, you can just get this, you don't need to get the other one because it's literally the same thing. It also really comes with a really cool booklet, which is why I love this. Some really cool writing in here about Michael Jackson and his accomplishments as well as like kind of like a timeline of his accomplishments and different awards that have come out. So. Great resource as well. Also, you need this box set because I don't think that it's available on Spotify. So you can't really hear songs like We've Had Enough and what are some of the other songs on here that are really good on disc four? Fall Again Demo, On the Line, In the Back, Beautiful Girl Demo, We've Had Enough. Like, definitely listen to these. All right, so when it comes to singles, we have One More Chance single. I have You Rock My World single, which I personally went into the store to pick this up. This actually was a really cool single because it had like an instrumental and an acapella and the radio edit. So lots of good stuff on here. I would get this. I loved how in the early 2000s, the CD singles became like so thin. Okay, next up is I Just Can't Stop Loving You with spoken intro. Here I have The Bad 25. This comes with three discs. There's the 
disc one, which is like the regular bad album, disc two, which is all the bonus material, which you guys probably already know, like Fly Away, Streetwalker, Al Capone. But those had not come out before, and that was really, really cool that they released those. This came out in 2012, so shortly after Michael died. So this is the Michael Jackson's greatest hits, the history one, volume one. They released this like on its own again. I don't know why. I think they did in 2001 when the special editions also came out. Michael Jackson, these are 12 inch mixes. So these are five 12 inch mixes on one CD for 99 or 9.99. <laughs> Billie Jean beat it. Want to be starting something thriller and PYT. And this was made in Australia, and I got this because I thought it'd be really cool to have long versions of all the songs, and they're very much longer. So if you're ever doing like a party or something, look into getting some 12 inch mixes. Michael Jackson, The Love Song. This was a CD that I played a lot when I was younger. It just really was soothing for me. It has songs like Who's Loving You, A Fool For You, Everybody, Somebody's Fool, um, If I Don't Love You This Way, Jackson 5 songs are far and few between, but there's a few on here. And I loved it, I thought it was really soothing to hear him sing some of these. A lot of them are covers, um, but it has some of his hits like uh, got to be there and one day in your life um, If I don't love you this way, I'll be there the stripped mixes which I did a blog post about way back in the day You have to get this it is all acapella Michael Jackson like just him singing lead vocals all acapella You really get to hear how like amazing his voice was and still is but you know his voice was as, as a young age Michael Jackson Legends, another like solo Mo Motown Michael Jackson collection. I've got Forever Michael here. And then this is a one from Japan, Universal Masters collection. It just has mostly the same stuff. Music and me, got to be there. Um, happy, people make the world go round, so. If you're not aware, Michael Jackson did have like his own solo career at Motown during the Jackson 5. He and Jermaine put out the, most of the albums. I think Marlon had one. I think all the brothers had at least one solo album. So speaking of Jackson 5, let's get into it. I'll show you these really quickly. Um, I have a double disc, third album, and maybe tomorrow. Looking Through the Windows, which is probably my favorite Michael Jacks, uh, my favorite Jackson 5 album. Third album and Looking Through the Windows. My favorites. Here is a Greatest Hits collection. Christmas album. This is unopened, but it's the Jackson 5 going back to Indiana special. This is the Japan version because I bought it in Tower Records Japan. The beginning year, Jackson 5 and Johnny. Jackson 5 remixes. Limited edition, Big Boy. For those of you guys that may not be familiar, Michael Jackson and Jackson 5. We're with Steel Town Records, which was a smaller record label before they got onto Motown. So this is a really cool song. This is my hands down Jackson 5 anthology greatest hits compilation. I, I wore this out to death. Like you could see this is like all scratched up and broken and but it was I just played this in my disc man like literally every day you guys. I just loved the Jackson 5. They inspired me. Um, because they were just so resilient and they were just such an awesome group, such trendsetters. And this is the best collection, if you ask me, the Jackson 5 Anthology. This was one of their first live CDs, if not the first. I may be wrong. I think there's two live CDs from the Jackson 5. There's the Jackson 5 Live at the Forum, which I feel like came out after Michael died, but I may be wrong. But this was one that came out during their career. It was them live in Japan, and it was really cool to hear. This came out originally in 1973 and was only available in Japan for a while. Another, for another CD of the Christmas collection. Obviously, I like it. And then here's another double albums. Uh, this is the Jackson 5, Diana Ross Presents the Jackson 5, and ABC. So a lot of times, as you guys can see, I was buying like those double albums or the greatest hits because I love the Jackson 5 music, but I got into it way later and it was harder to find some of their stuff on CD, naturally because they all came out first on vinyl. So first is Destiny Album, which is my personal favorite album of the Jacksons. We have two copies of Jackson's Live because one copy is never enough. I also have this on vinyl and on Spotify. Yeah, it's so good. I just love this. Definitely close your eyes one day and listen to this concert. You'll feel like you're there. 
the Jacksons album, self-titled album, 2300 Jackson Street, Triumph, which a lot of people say is the best Jacksons album. Definitely go and pick that up. Go in places. This is my jam. I like the feeling I get when I ride in a jet. Okay. I have the Jacksons double album here again, Victory Album and Triumph, and I got this because I needed the Victory Album, obviously. And then lastly, I have This Is It, which is of no relation to any of this because this is a posthumous release. And I got this because it was just, um, I thought it was a nice collection to have, a nice something to add to my collection. It's two discs. One of them has just like most of the songs that were in the This Is It movie, and then they have some demos at the end in Planet Earth. Uh, Michael Jackson's poem that he reads aloud. Um, so yeah, amazing. So yeah, so that is it, you guys. That is my Michael Jackson CD collection. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Check down below. You guys can visit mjfangirl.com where I put pictures and links to every single CD that I've listed here. If you guys want the same collection or want to look into the same CDs that I have, these are all CDs that I listen to. My collection's not like a lot of people's because it's very worn and used, and I like it that way because I get a chance to open these up and show them to you guys, experience the music with my friends and family. Like, I just love listening to Michael Jackson, and I did a lot of listening to Michael Jackson back in the day. I have to be honest with you guys, I don't listen to him as much as I used to. And looking at the end, I know you guys are probably like, okay, I'm Jay girl, but you listen to him every day, but still, it's not like what it used to be. Like, look at these CDs and like, look at how warm they are. Think about like, me walking around with a Discman, um, which was like the Walkman, I'll put a picture here if you guys don't know, but like, I used to listen to them and Michael would lift my spirits so much and it would lift my spirits to hear about the making of his music and the creative process behind it and it would make me feel great to listen to Go In Places and then to compare it to Triumph, to compare it to the Destiny album, you know, to listen to Third Album, which is a Jackson 5 record, um, then to compare it to uh, Looking Through the Windows and ABC and it's just such a journey to be a Michael Jackson fan and it meant a lot to me to collect all these CDs, to go out and buy them. I have great memories going out and purchasing all of them. So I say all this to say, if you guys are new collectors, don't feel like you know you don't have enough or like you may have three CDs, you may have four, but to me, when it comes to collections, it's all about like the memories attached to them. And I just, I just love all the memories that I have that are related to Michael Jackson. It's just such sweet times in my life and I'm grateful to have such a big Michael Jackson CD collection. I don't have as big as ones as a lot of people because a lot of people have a lot of different copies and ones from other countries and stuff, but I hope that this was helpful to you guys. I think I showed a good balance of solo Michael Jackson from the Motown era, obviously his adult solo work, um, some greatest hit stuff, some remix stuff, some Jackson 5 stuff, some Jackson stuff, even the This Is It CD. So I hope you guys got some use out of this video, comment down below, let me know some of your thoughts, and also just let me know any of the CDs and any of the memories that you guys have that are the same with me, I would love to hear it. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, and thank you to Georgia for collaborating with me on this, and make sure you go and visit her channel after this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.